Hello my friends, once again with more uh, Pillars of Eternity, just kind of messing around with it. It's probably taking a lot longer than most people did, but I like to mess around with my games. <laughs> so um, I hope you're enjoying it, at least, you know, as something to kind of fill up the time. Hopefully I'll be able to get a more stable gaming schedule once I get moved in, but it'll be a couple more weeks for it to properly be where I want it to be. But anyway, um, thank you guys for watching, if you're watching. And I will see you momentarily in the actual video. Why can't pirates and ninjas just get lost? Stone Smith, you're right. Um, monks are, uh, monks can be nerds. They're religious. Not all monks are religious. They're moral philosophers. <laughs> like at all uh whoa oh that's my outfit dang it that was my skin color um i do like I, i'm a fan of like the teal and teal and brown oh there's my skin color Ooh. Ooh, I don't have many options. I can only be blue or brown. <laughs> they are nerds. They're philosophers. <laughs> Hang on, wait. What? Why can't I change? Why can't I change my... Wait, this doesn't make any sense. What? Why can my portrait change to be any a variety of these things? What? But that's not what I am. I'm not a human. Way anchor and hoist the missing. Why can't I change my stuff? What? Stock portraits? What? What? It doesn't make any sense. I'm sad. <laughs> Stone Smith. Alright, well she's cute, but... That doesn't... Why, why can't I change the way I look at all? I don't like that at all. I want to change what I look like. I'm blue. I'm blue! Um... I'm gonna be this dark greenish blue. There is none with glasses! Whoa. I'm sad. I'm blue. But yeah, but what's the point of a portrait if it doesn't look like you? Like, she's cute. Why can't I look like her? She's cool looking. She's cool. She's cool. She's cool. She's super cool. She's super cool. She's very cool. <gasps> I could have been her. I could have been her. Oh my gosh. Look at her. She's so cute. What the heck? Oh my gosh. Why are they all so cute? Why are they all so cute? She's one of the ones with the hood and Sam using it having a bad hair day. You're not wrong. Well, she looks good. I don't have any tech. I want to be her. Wait a second. Oh, I thought I saw something. Baby 
Look at friggin' Rain's lost his mind. Um. What? Okay. okay. You know we're gonna just we're gonna play around then. If I I wanna just I'm gonna mess you're, I'm gonna mess around. I'm gonna mess around. And we're definitely gonna be. Oh, so I could go. Okay. Oh, I could. Oh, oh, look at that! I could be an Orlan death. Um, yeah. Okay, I was kind of confused what it meant by body type. Oh my gosh, she's absolutely terrifying. Should we be an Almala? Or, or an Orlan death one. No, we're gonna be, I kinda wanna be big. I wanna be big. I wanna be a big death. Or, or do I wanna be a human death? Oh, but it does change, it changes my stats based on, based on the fact that I'm a death. Be big or be big death. Big death or be small. We're gonna be big death. We'll be our mala. Yeah, we'll be our mala. All right. I still do want to be a monk. I still want to have that. Uh, let's take one from there and put it in there. And yep, we'll still be from the Dead Fire Archipelago. We'll be an explorer. <gasps> Look how pretty that portrait is. Oh, I only have those two options? Lame sauce. Okay, now we're gonna look at, um... Uh... Nature. Now we're like a moon. We'll be a moon almawa. Or a dwarf, or an elf, or an orlan, or a human. Almawa! I'm just looking. Uh, that's fine. Explorer. Oh, wow. Ooh, pretty. <laughs> Whoa, that's intimidating. Yeah, no, you're, I wanna, yeah, we're gonna, let's look at, um, let's look at Alma. I might actually go to them, because I really do like them. Uh, okay, so we'd be coastal or island. Ansligon, hello! Welcome to our brand new game where we just play in the character creator. That's all we're doing. Um... Towering physique, or armed to the teeth. They gain an additional weapon set. Let's be let's be coastal. I like the coastal look. She looks like a jellyfish. Lemon Z. No wonder you don't like her. That's what, and that's why I liked her a lot because she looks like a jellyfish. And Slagon, I'm doing well. How are you? I'm also, I'm also, um, oh, you're right. You're right! Coastals, I don't want to it. I'm gonna choke, I'm also eating. Nice face paint? Oh, yeah! She does have nice face. I really like this one's hair. She looks like a bioluminescent fish. Monk. Okay. Now I can do 16, 16, 15. You're right, you're right, Kayuk. You're all right? Sweet, Anselgum. I'm, I'm literally having, I don't know how long we've been doing this, like an hour and we still haven't left character creator. Dead Fire Archipelago. I could change my hair color. 
Ooh. I actually do like that one. And we have hair options, so number seven is good. Oh my gosh, look at the haircut, Lemon Z! Lemon Z! I'm crying, it's a really good haircut. Oh my gosh, I'm a huge fan of ponytails. Oh, nice! I like that. You have fun! I got you just like, okay, here's all the hairstyle options. Okay. Ooh, a different kind of ponytail. Oh, cool. Why do they get so many hair options? Okay. What's my hairstyle? A bun. I wear a curly haired bun. All the, this is me if I don't take care of my hair. <laughs> no, I wish my hair did that. Ooh, we can be bald! I actually want to kind of be bald because I'm a monk. And my D&D &D character who's a monk is bald. Holy cow. That's gravity defying hair. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. I actually really like the hair we started out with. My hairstyle doesn't exist in here. My, my real life hairstyle. If I had to pick, it would be sort of like that. When my hair gets long enough, I wear it in a ponytail, but I don't have any hair down like that. Okay, I what I I wish my hairstyle was like um I want to do that. Something like that. You like you don't want me to be bald? Oh, okay. <laughs> Larry, I wish I had a mohawk. Oh. Balls blue spiritual lady. Very far, far scapey. Uh, I've never seen it. You like the Norse looking one and the sea show. I like the one we started out with too. I like that one. Welcome back, Kayuk. Okay. Alright, we're gonna go with the blue. Because she's the closest to what we look like. Okay, my skin tone, I, I think I like my skin tone the way it is. Oh, whoa! Oh, I have, like, markings on my face. I didn't notice until I, until I changed my color to be, ooh, I like that one too. Ooh, I like that one. Oh, that one's so pretty too. Oh, that's cool looking too! Oh, she's really pretty. I like her a lot. I don't think we'll do that. We'll might do that one. And so gone. This is like an old school RPG. Um I don't actually know what it's about. <laughs> but all I know is that it sounds it sounds like the Pillars of Eternity 2 sounded really cool. And both Pillars of Eternity 1 and two were very well received. You like black? You like the black one? You're changing my hair. Yikes. Too many unreal. I, li I like the black hair. What will it. Okay. No. 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 I do too, Lemon Z. I like the darker. I do. I like that one. See, I like the lighter, like, tattoo but, like, I don't know. I don't really like the way it looks with her skin. So I think I will go with that one. I like the darker lines a lot better. <laughs> this game! This game is about character creation! <laughs> Grammy, Grammy knows all and knows everything about this game, and it's all about character creation. <laughs> Psycho's bad. Ooh, can I make everything worse? Can I be a villain? I've been listening a lot to Star Wars villain books. Like I listened to the Tarkin audiobook, and I started the Bane trilogy as well. And I just really want to be a bad guy. 
Or bad gal, rather. I can, I can not have a voice if I want, and I can use my own. Ooh, babe, I know, right, Ram? Gameplay is really immersive. Yes, it definitely is. Okay, she's pretty. She's super pretty. And that's all we can do here. Ooh, wow. Yes. I've got this. Kill them all! My eyes are peeled. I'm here. Wow. Oh, but hey! I've got this. They don't, they don't, they don't restrict uh, the voices. Like, you could be like, that, that basically opens up the door for like being transgender. I could never be a bad guy. I'm too sweet. <laughs> Thank you, Lemon Z, but I want to. I, well, the thing is, is like, there's a certain kind of evil that I like, Rain, and in Coder, you're either a complete a hole or you're like a saint. And I like, um, I like being evil, but I like getting there gradually and like not just being evil for evil's sake, but like, I don't know. I like it to have a little more plot than just being a jerk. Show them how it's done! Easy does it. Easy does it. Just say the word. I'll lead the way. What was the one, um... Feisty... Where did she go? Let's go! Quickly and quietly. Eh? Eh? I've got this. Um, so I... Okay, so do you guys think I should get a voice that reads for me? Or should I read for myself? Because the voice that reads for me will probably do a better job. You like straight up sociopaths? Okay, see, I do too. That's the thing. It's like, I'm trying to think, like, it's not always like, like, I think Bane doesn't necessarily start out bad. I'm not too far, but like, I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes it, there's just like a childish level of evil, I think, in some cases. Like, just being a straight up jerk, but I like... I do like people who are born almost with, like, 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 stories of people that are, like, they don't really have any morals at all, and, like, they're, 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 like, crazy, I don't know, it just depends. So the Coder one, the Coder and Mass Effect are just, like, it doesn't really quite hit the right notes with me, you either have to be, like, I don't know, I don't know. Oh, they don't really read? Uh, oh, okay. Dang it. That's, it's me! I'm a pirate! <laughs> That's exactly what I look like when I dress up every day. Let's go! I'm gonna be feisty. Oh my gosh, what kind of name should I make? Okay, hang on. I'm gonna look up a generator. Almoa names. Um, what? I don't, I don't know. I don't know what Amawa names are. Thomas the Memorphic. <laughs> What? Darth Rabbit. The hardest part is names. You like villains who feel you. Yeah, no, I... Let me see, I feel you. Like, I don't know, I'm, I'm just, I guess I'm picky on my villains, but like, I don't like just like, I don't like the shallow villains. I like ones that are either like completely evil and chaotic or like completely evil and like super sly and sneaky about it. Or ones that have gotten there because of certain situations in their life. But I really do, like, okay, I really like Tarkin as an evil villain. Like, I like the super intelligent villains who, like, know what they're doing and, like, have their own, like, sort of, like, 
morality they're following, but like Tarkin is just like he like he, he likes law and order, right? And like he'll do anything to to keep law and order, even if it means murdering an entire planet, you know? They have names like Tikahau on Ono Kays and Nerdbeard, I hate you, Lindsay. Calico Nerd Lemon. We're gonna call her Lemon just for you. Nerd Sparrow <laughs> Oh, personal names. Oh, Kai, you're great. Hang on. Barbara, I, Lemon Z, I'm gonna call her Lemon just for you. Okay, let's see. Um. But these are only the three. Uh, but I'm not, I'm not Adrian Valen or Glenn Farthen. I'm not any of those. Lemon Fish, Sir Punchington, Sir Francis Nerd. Hang on, I'm gonna look up, um, uh, the cult all have their own personal names, the names... Ching Ching. <laughs> what? Um. Yeah, but I'm not. I'm not in any of these areas. I'm in the Dead Fire. I'm in the Dead Fire Archipelago. Let's see. Blah blah blah. Oh, the language borrows from Welsh, Cornish, and a bit of Irish. Um, the Valen Langs is based on Italian, o Occitan, Catalan, and French. Um, Old English, Icelandic, and Scott. Oh, interesting. It, wait, okay, hey, okay, here we go. Oh, I like that one, Grammy, actually. Oh, yeah, Ching Shi. Oh, that's right, that's right. That's right. That's right. Uh, Lemon Z, you're very right. Ooh, this looks more like... Yes, a tribal island. Yes! Uh, do they have... Do we have names? Religion, case... We don't have names, but this is, I was going to look up names like, um, Tahitian names or something. Okay, uh, Grammy, you're doing great, Grammy. I'm going to use, I'm going to use Netahue Net Net or... But we're from the Deadfire Archipelago, but we're in Amawa. We could be Enoi Kasu. Let's be Kasu. We are from Pirate Land slash Nasatak, yes. Was it Nasatak? No, we're from Pirate Land. Oh yeah, we are in Nice Attack. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, thank you, Grammy. Like a cashew nut. What is wrong with you? They are names of dead fire NPCs. Okay, well we're gonna be named after de uh, a Um. Like a cashew, oh, I see what you're saying. No, now I can't be a cashew nut. We're gonna be cashew. Done. Two hours later. The caravan master. Oh, that's right. We're part of a caravan. You 
You know, Ka Kayuka, I was thinking about naming her Nas or something. Oh my gosh, you're right! Oh no, Shotsmith! No! I know Kaze, K A S E, is cheese. NASA Froth! I get to explore ruins? Woo! Okay, the caravan mash finishes addressing the group. Uh, his bushy red mustache and sagging jowls quivering as if for emphasis. Everybody stays close to the wagons, got it? I don't have to Stay read Stay out of the woods, and beasts take you if you were planning a stroll through those ruins up there. What? <laughs> he nods towards a looming black mass on the hillside. But, 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 Grammy said I get to explore ruins. Whole area's crawling with hut-dwelling types who'd be happy to stick an axe in you for trespassing. So mind that you don't track mud on their sacred blazing rocks. Oh, you're rude. You want to see the bushy red? You can kind of see it. <laughs> Tonight, everybody stays put, and in the morning, we'll get the path cleared. Gilded veils less than a day out. Understood? At last, the caravan master turns to you, frowning as he looks you over. Don't look me over. Touch of the rumbling rot, could be. Eh. There's a stinging beetle around here, carries it. You'll be fine once it passes your innards. Unless you don't drink water, of course. Which case you'll be dead in a day. Wowza, okay. <laughs> There'll be no ruin searching for cheese lane. No, Lemonsy's never gonna let me live it down that I named my character after cheese. Don't get attached! No, Kayuk! I get attached all the time! Can I uh, save scum in this game? <laughs> read anyway. Read on top of what the guy is saying. So many ruins! This this game does have permadeath. There's a berry grows in these parts, small and pink, called a springberry, about the size of a fingernail. Give you cramps if you eat it, but the frontiersmen make a tea from it. Calms the insides. Should get you through the night. You might check around, see if you can find some. Meanwhile, I'll see if we can scare you up some water. Okay, man. <laughs> the game is character creation, ruins, die, character creation. <laughs> Kasu means profit. Ooh, and a stuff. Really? Nice. I like that, Rain. No save scum for some of these people? What? I'm gonna save scum for all the people. They don't all get conversations. You wanna play Fire Emblem? I never got into Fire Emblem. I know you wanna hunt before it gets much darker. But see about refilling our water first. Got a sick one here. Oh, Damo looks over his shoulder at his assistant, a lanky, intense man named Sparfell, who carries an old sun-bleached bow. Uh, he nods and slides the warm bow over his shoulder. Where would I find those berries? What are those ruins? It's dangerous out here. I'll ask what the ruins are. Nothing you won't see on half the hills of Air Glonfoth. Money to be made selling their knickknacks in Defiance Bay if you don't mind getting stuck with Glonfoth and arrows now and again. They didn't build them, but I'll be the effigy if they don't watch them like a mother bear. Yeah, don't steal ancient artifacts that aren't yours. Game tells you to make tea in the first dialogue already fan. I haven't seen Infinity War yet, Rain, and I'm really upset about it. Yeah, this chat is spo Yeah, and Deb I haven't seen anything. I haven't seen Deadpool 2. I haven't seen Infinity War. I haven't seen Han Solo. Um, please, if anybody's seen Han Solo, did they just make Lando Calrissian pansexual? By word of mouth, or do they actually show it in the in the movie? Because if all they did was say, just say, oh yeah, he's pansexual, without actually showing it, it's just it's just there to be like, look, give us a gold star for diversity, even though you can't tell, and you can't tell so much that we had to actually tell you. I will ban you all <laughs> if you spoil anything. Huh? Did it come out today? Did it really? What day is it? <laughs> I don't know what day it is. Oh, I think it came out yesterday. Oh, hey! Gromick72 is following on Twitch. I apologize, Gromick, if you're following me for any intense uh, Pillars of Eternity gameplay. Yeah, Lando likes everybody! Lando likes everybody! That's the thing. It's like, I, my friends and I like to call it omnisexual, actually. 
If if you if you'll even date robots, you're omnisexual. We called uh, Captain Jack from um, Doctor Who that. So also, I wanted to say. What did I want to say? What did I want to say? Infinity War or make Squirrel cry. Wait, what? Are you freaking serious right now? There's not 81 people watching right now. Holy fudge! No, there's no. Oh my gosh, there's 71 people watching. <laughs> They're gonna leave so fast. Hi. <laughs> I literally have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> That has to be a lie. It has to be a lie. I, I don't. I think the I think I think Twitch is glitching. Um. Of course, all the ones around here have been ransacked ten times over. Got nothing left worth half a pawn. Half so a I hear. He adds with a wink. Here are attributes uh, and sex. Woohoo! May open up options for you in dialogue. These options are necessarily superior to the other responses. To give you wider variety of choices to choose from. Yeah, I don't know. Who 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 is Lando and why he just Yeah, it's dropping dramatically. I think Twitch just uh broke. Who did build the ruins? Got oh, they, different oh, names shrugs. for them. Settlers called them in Gwithens. Nobody that liked them enough to stop them becoming ruins, tell you that much. Is it dangerous out here? Not if you hurry about your business. And uh, not if the weather holds up. Oh, there's concern in his tone, but it does not elaborate. Yeah, there must have been, like, a weird glitch. Or, yeah, something. Or, I don't, because I didn't get hosted. I don't know. Or everybody got off work at the same time? That's weird. I am. <laughs> uh, what kind of weather did they get out here? This time of year, rain mostly, and wind. But there's a different kind of wind out here, time to time. Locals call it a beowick, born out of the ether, the spirit's path. Never seen it myself, never care to. What are these huge rocks coming up out of the ground? They don't got Audra where you come from? Audra. Well, it just grows up out of the ground like this. Goes deep like tree roots. Some of it all the way to the heart of the world, you believe the stories. <laughs> rain! Rain! <laughs> it's rainy! That's the kind of weather they get out here. Just a bunch of uh, rain. Rain man! The rain man. Uh, cool. It's more like a shell than a proper oh, rock. Oh, cool. Easier to stuff? work if you're a mason. This Got stuff? all kinds of strange properties. Seems to have some it's kind lyrium. of life of its own. Dies if it gets dug up. Loses its luster. Folks think it probably grew at one point or another, but not these days. It's living stone? It makes sense. Ryan, rain, stop. Where are the horses of this caravan? Uh, they've been eaten already. I assume. Um... The soul butchers in Defiance Bay use it for different soul things. Soul butchers. I've heard tell it can hold a man's oh, soul. Oh, it's a but soul I don't stone. Care to see it. Got enough to worry about without seeing something like that. The horses are <laughs> rain. I hope you're getting ruins. The horses are in the ruins, or they're behind us. Uh, where did I find these bears? They grow on a bush that's common around here. Kind of funny looking. You'll know it when you what? see it. What? Doubt you'd have to go far off the road to what? find it's one. It's funny looking. That doesn't tell me anything. You can kill the horses? Really? Okay, uh, I'll go see about those Hold berries. Hold on. Take someone with you. It's dangerous to go I know alone. you're not some helpless tenderfoot. Not like most of this lot. Oh, thanks, man. But you drop dead. I don't want to be looking for the body. Got a schedule to keep. He scans over the travelers, resting his eyes on, on a, at length on a sturdy armor-clad woman who has spent the night's journey... The journey's night sleeping on uneven ground without blanket or pillow. Kalisha. Kalisha! Woman looks up on her own time. 69. Nice, Lindsay. Uh, she needs to find some spring berries. Watch that she doesn't drop dead. No promises. Uh, I'm already in love. What it's kind fine. of guide says something like that? 
kind you can afford. <laughs> Don't listen to her. You're in good hands. And I pay too well, if anything. <laughs> he glances sidelong at her. You want you want the excitement? <laughs> um I don't know what happened. I don't know why I got all of a sudden people like just all of a sudden I feel bad because I literally went from like eighty people to like twenty three. Cause they're probably like, what a freaking noob just sitting here talking about Star Wars while she's supposed to be playing the game. Off with you. Hayden should have supplies. See that you're equipped before you head out. We're in harsh country. Get your berries. Get your berries and hurry back. And if you get so much as a tickle of wind, you drop everything and you run. Something in the air tonight. If it's a Beowick, we'll shelter in the ruins. Hut dwellers be damned. Shelter in the ruins. You heard the man. Let's get going before you keel over. Am I gonna die? You wanna wash these windows and become familiar. Okay. You got <laughs> more score for you. <laughs> get your berries. I will get my berries. Your party always consists of your character and five additional companions or adventurers. While the caravan is camped outside the Glen Fathom ruins, Odama has assigned Kaliska to you. She's a fighter, a class that excels at close quarters combat. Use her abilities to complement your own. I'll do my best. To select a party member, click on their selection circle. Um, their portrait, or press the number button that corresponds to the position of party. Click and hold anyone on the screen and drag the marquee of the circles of the party members you'd like to include. Maybe they searched for some... Yeah, but like... Uh, like, uh, that many people at once, or what? That was pretty, pretty crazy. 69? 96. What don't you get, Kai? What's wrong, buddy? <laughs> to move... Oh, hey, look at this. Uh, click anywhere on the screen where my circle is a curve. Whatever. All selected characters will path to their corresponding position in the formation. See a red circle with a slash through it. You can't walk there. Did I choose expert mode? No, Grammy! We don't bite. Often. Hehe. <laughs> uh, the action bar is hidden. To see individual characters options. Select on that character. Okay. No problem. No problem! Can I... Nope, I can't go over there. Can't... Can I over here? Can I talk to people? How do I... Can I not... Um... Hmm. How do I get anywhere? Anyone need supplies? Oh, oh, I've that's got right. For sale. I have to go talk to this guy. I should go to my inventory and remove my weapon. I don't have a weapon. How is the fake war going? Did you fake win? Um, I did hear that, Rain, that there were no uh, loading screens or anything like that in God of War. I am a monk, I but that's okay, cause cause Kayu said to remove my weapon, but I don't have one. Clicking on their selection circle, many characters will greet you and go on their way, but others will have a larger conversation to explore. Right, yeah, they were super clever about their loading screens. God of War hit it out of the park. I was honestly surprised. I didn't think it was gonna be much of anything. You see a man wearing simple but mostly neat clothes. He's transfixed, however, by a ragged tear in the seam of his tunic. Brought a whole wagon full of goods to sell, but not enough shirts for the road. He scratches one cheek with his knuckles. It's covered with uneven stubble, as if he hasn't quite gotten used to shaving on the road. Ha ha! Clever! Yeah! Lemonzy! Uh, will I play God of War? Probably not.
I can look at the other person's inventory. Say, is there anything you need? I've got some basic traveling supplies for sale if you'd like to take a look. I swear I recognize this guy's I'm a trader, voice. originally from the Adir Empire, but I've been trying to establish new business out Not here. Not enough shirts. Life on the road has brought some unexpected challenges, to be sure. And I'm sure you've noticed how prickly the locals can be. But we're here to make the most of things, right? Right. Scanlan, what? I'm surprised you've lasted this long. Wait, what? 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 Uh, these these caravanners are prickly. Watch out for those axe wielding axe withers. Oh, Dama mentioned. You now have one rank and a disposition reputation. These reputations represent how people perceive your personality throughout the world. Even seemingly nasty reputations will be favored by some people, and benign reputations will often bring out the worst in certain people. No disposition is inherently good or bad in Pillars of Eternity, but if your main character is a priest or paladin, you must be careful not to misalign the dispositions with what is favored by their deity and order, respectively. For the main character only, the dispositions will modify the effects of Holy Radiance uh, and Faith. Yeah, no, Ansel, like, um, the guy's voice sounds really familiar. Yeah, no spoilers! Oh, I want to play God of War, but I have so many games to play. Um, I'm going to run get some water really quick because my throat is actually dying. And now that all the strangers are gone, <laughs> I don't feel bad just abandoning you. <laughs> I'll be right back. It's from the Empire. In fact, our companions are quick to remind me of. He gives you a lopsided grin and nods at the other scattered caravanners. Uh, oh, okay, because he's from Adir, okay. Oh, I have that book, Lemon Z. The Norse mythology book. Uh, oh, thank you, Kaig, for the voice of this guy. Oh, man. Oh, why did you move all the way out here? Because it seemed friendlier than Ray and Saris? <laughs> My brothers took over the family mercantile business a few years ago, and there wasn't enough for me to do back home. I moved out to try and expand. Okay. Darwood is a former idea colony, so it seemed like a good place to start. And as much as I admire the Ray and Saris' work ethic, they've always struck me as a little fanatical. Sounds reasonable enough. Out here, I'm just taking it one day at a time. How do you got? I don't. So she, does she not have anything? Thank you, Kayuk. Loki literally shagged a horse. I mean, and then he made like a seven-legged horse, baby, which was pretty cool. Oh, it's all equipped. Okay. Mm. I don't. I don't need anything, do I? Do I need armor? Mugs have no earthly belongings. They're nerds. <laughs> the Greeks were pretty gross. Had sex with someone in the swamp? <laughs> no, that's just fursonas. Not charisma. But, yeah. How much money do I have? Do I have any money? What's this do? Retrain character. Stop. But does that cost money? Party. Um... I have a hundred gold, so I can't do anything. I don't need anything, do I? Unless I need armor, but I can't buy any of the armor. A cloak? Consumables? Should I get a lockpick? 
I have a hundred money. <laughs> a hundred, a hundred whatever these are. <laughs> hundred monies. Um, uh, okay, I don't need to buy anything. Eh? Eh? Weapon sets is my fist. What you need? What you need? Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I have any mechanic. How do I see that? I can pause. We're mission camp scouting. Map inventory. Casu reputations, party reputation. A hundred money and fifty dollars. How am I still here with Fred? <laughs> Cause I, I literally just finished the character creation like twenty minutes ago. Uh my... I don't know. Alright, let's just go. Let's Got go. It. Wait, how do I select everybody? All of us, let's go. Yeah. All of us, let's go. Come come on. Hmm. Okay, there we go. Oh, and I can zoom out. Okay. Is this where I'm supposed to be going? I'm going backwards in time. So you get to like open up the map the more you explore. Oh, there's the horses. Just press return. Oh, okay. Oh, ho, bushes. No, I oh that's the fallen tree. Not but, looking forward to trying to lift that thing tomorrow. Well, where's my bushes? You're gonna get into your jammies? I'm already in my jammies, Lemonzy. <laughs> We're exploring horses. Uh should we go to the eastern reach? Open the area map to see what parts of the map you've already been to. And what's left to explore? Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Alright, I like it. I like it. I like how Loki. Oh my gosh. Oh, hey, how's the high guy? I'll have your water soon enough. Stream's not going anywhere. Okay, guys, jeez, no need to be aggressive about it. I'm just trying to find some bushes. So I don't die. <laughs> you never got out of your jammies. Let's check by those outcroppings. Wait, wait, wait. He's out. Whoa! 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 Ah! These outcroppings are... I think that's the plant I'm supposed to be looking for. Uh, this is a possible real-time system. Okay, 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 okay. Resume real time as the hours play out. I got this. We're good. What do I do? Um. Hmm. One of your characters has been engaged in melee. When characters are engaged, they immediately stop moving, and if they move again, it will provoke a disengagement attack from the enemies engaging them. Your characters will also automatically engage. I don't want to get engaged! I don't want to get engaged! Uh. I. Okay. Did I do it right? When a party member takes damage. Okay. Very suspicious half circle of stones by the camp. Or t Ooh, you're right. 
That is what a monk is. I know, but... <laughs> Monks are supposed to get engaged. <laughs> you get engaged when we say so, young woman. No, Dad! <laughs> I do what I want. I do what I want. When a party member takes damage, they will start to lose endurance and health. The portrait will begin with a fills the red overlay. And our health, is that, is that my health bar? <laughs> oh, our portrait feels entirely red. We've been knocked out. Potion and spells can be used to restore endurance to keep characters in the fight, but health can only be restored by resting. Until I get a wand. Punch! Punch! Falcon punch! I did it. We gained 28 experience, bestiary progress. That doesn't sound good. For two crush damage. Look at all that. Okay. Books don't get married. They're swords of religion because they're nerds. Uh, green is my endurance and the number is the health. Okay. All right. Why would you be eating? Sure. Oh, wait. Take it. I want to look at what it, it's nasty. Oh, that's the bush. But Caillou said we don't want to look at the bush. We want to explore the whole map. Um. We shouldn't stray too far. Yeah. I did loot the wolf. But I couldn't loot that body. Is this the is this everything I can explore? Uh hit return. I can take the bush and still explore the map, okay. This is it. says I've had some interesting travels in the watery parts of the world I was a mariner I lived out on the frontier I sailed with cold-blooded conquerors um Should I, should I, no, I'm, I won't be, I won't be a mean person. I'll be, a, I was a mariner. How was he happened to come here? We were attacked by pirates at sea. I didn't find what I was looking, I didn't find what I was looking for. Some things just aren't in the stars and there's no changing it. Makes you wonder if the gods like putting us in situations that can't be resolved just to see what we do. Kaliska breathes in her surroundings. Been a long time since I've been this way, but I always did like it. She breathes in her surroundings of the dead carcass. Lord Radrick's offer makes a girl think. I'll give him that. You here to settle like the rest of the lot? Nope, just passing through. That's usually the case with the big city just a little ways further up the road. Where are you headed? Nowhere special. I'll probably wander for a while. I wouldn't judge you for that. I've been half my life. Just watch yourself. You get too far off a beaten path. These lands are wild in more ways than one. You always wanted a Game of Thrones RPG? They made not an RPG, I guess. I don't know. If, I don't know if GOT is Game of Thrones, but anyway, I'm wasting time here. Name will give me an earful. Why are you here? She sighs unevenly. Her eyes search the ground at her feet. My sister moved out here some time back. She sent me a letter. She seemed worried, but that's how she always is. This time, though, she asked me to come out, and that's got me a little worried. I haven't seen her in ages. Been doing guide work in Extremadura, but I'd do anything for her. She's well. She's a much better woman than me. So I'm here, and we'll see. Uh, Odema, I've worked with before. He doesn't usually drive the route this way, but he's doing it for me. Oh, that's cool. Oh, a song of ice and fire, RBG. Tell me about yourself. I've got simple needs. I like open skies and far horizons. I find work that lets me live that way. 
I like her already. My family wanders too. We've started in Daiwa, but my parents ended up in the Living Lands. I've got a brother in Ratawatai, Ratawatai and another in Ader. My sister in Gilded Vale. She's the only real homebody. What can you tell me about Direwood? I'm not much for history, but from what I know, it used to be part of the Ader Empire. It broke off after a war some years back. The locals here are feisty, and that's how they like it. I've been out of touch, but I've been hearing weird kinds of things about it lately. People having trouble giving birth, I guess. A lot of them. It's been going on for years now, but somehow it's getting worse. With an uneasy tremor in her voice, she adds, I'll have to ask my sister more about it. People can't give birth? What? Alright, let's go back to camp. You know, I wouldn't hold my breath that Sparfell's getting you water anytime soon. He does what he feels like when he feels like it. We should check up on him first. Slap him around a little. The stream is just down that way. Come on, let's go get you your water. You're gonna play two Caillou. Yay! I can't really go anywhere else. What's this? I got I got Egg Myths Wart. I can't go any further than this. Because <laughs> you have not fake work tomorrow. Hey, Rain. Thank you for stopping by, Rain. And thank you again for the $50 donation. You're great. You're the greatest. Well, I hope you have a good day at not work. And, uh, <laughs> and we'll see you later. I hope you sleep well. I have a whole area to explore, apparently. Dun 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 I could go over here. Oh look, plants! Burned lady, I just got a burned lady. Of course you are great, you are the great rain man. It was good to see you. I hope you sleep well before not work. I'm glad I don't, I'm glad I get to like go home for a break. You don't you don't I mean you have to like your work is like lots of work. <laughs> I get to work and then go home and sleep and play video games. Okay, so the whole black area is stuff I need to explore. I just pulled out a torch. Turn the torch off, lady. You crazy? Oh, hey. A bridge. Uh, thin tab? Thin tab? Or just tab? What lets me see? What, what lets me see things I can interact with? Uh, how do I remove the... Lady, remove your torch. Remove it. Um. Do I have to like hold tab down? Don't go over the bridge yet. Okay. this the corpse is cold and the ripe smell wafts from it in putrid waves I missed it a dark crest of bloodstain besmirches its simple linen clothing uh, leather armor and a lockpick Okay. Oh, I already interacted with them, so the tab doesn't work, does it? Dang it. Oh, well. You guys realize there's a 30-second delay on the chat. I don't... Someday, I think I'll be able to fix that. But latency is, uh, is no good. 
And thank you all again for watching. I really do appreciate it. There's one more part after this, I think, as far as I know. There might be more, but there's for sure at least one more part. Um, we'll see what I can get to tonight. But yes, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.